So, we're finally getting around to, to Steve's research. Um, I'm a bit late behind because I do have a life outside YouTube, even though I may, that may be uh, somewhat hard for some people to believe, but I do have a life outside YouTube. So, evidence. I've got his uh, pages up and ready to go. And the first one comes from it's an NHS and it is Chemotherapy Encourages Cancer Claims Researchers. So what? <laughs> Chemotherapy still works. Quote from the very article you say, where does in the where did this story come from? Uh, the study was carried out by researchers from the Fred Hitchison Cancer Research Center and other research institutes in the US. It was funded by the US Department and the National Cancer Institute, uh, the Northwest Pacific uh, Prostate Cancer and the Prostate Cancer Foundation. Uh, the study was published in a peer-reviewed journal. Uh, the newspapers generally covered the research well, although some headlines gave the impression that chemotherapy was found to do more harm than good. In fact, the study just looked at trying to explain why tumours may gain resistance to chemotherapy. It does not alter what is known about its benefits. I have to question why did you send me this because this all this does is say yeah they did this research they did it to understand why certain you know tumors become immune to chemotherapy there are hundreds and hundreds of thousands of papers just you know look it up yourself chemotherapy works And yet you're gonna, you know, you're gonna send this to me. That's that's ridiculous. I'm sorry. Your next one. Um, basically, use post things that are in vaccines. So what? Yeah, there's lots of stuff in vaccines, for very good reasons. I guarantee you're one of those people, oh, they've got mercury in it. Do you know why they have mercury in it? Do you know why they have things like, you know, mouse brain in there? Go and look it up for yourself. You'll be fascinated why that's in there. That's far more fascinating than saying that, oh, it's dangerous. Because it's not. The mercury that they don't have any anymore was so neg it's completely negligible. You wouldn't even notice it. If I were to actually give you just that small amount, it wouldn't affect you in the slightest. Vaccines are safe. They are completely fine. There is no problem with them at all. You can argue with me till the cows come home, but I'm sorry, vaccines work. End of story. You have been disproven and disbunked many times, you anti-vaccine morons. It works. His next one, his third one, shall we say. Uh, vaccination Information Service. Again, hidden truth on vaccinations. Wow, that's not an anti-vaxxer thing, is it? Maybe I should send send you to the, uh, you know, the one that was done by a group of, you know, students saying how good vaccinations were. And, you know, the proof and evidence that they actually work. You know, or maybe I should link you to the uh, Surgeon General who just had to respond because, you know, anti-vaxxers anti had sent a, a petition to the White House and he responded in video saying why and how vaccines work and that, yes, they were good. <sighs> anyway, next one. Check the evidence. Oh, another one. Vaccinations. And there's a series of videos. Sorry, vaccinations work. End of story. Ah, the cancer business. <sighs> you 
And this is a, basically, it's a massive booklet. I'm not going to even bother reading it. And I know someone's going to say, oh, but it's all the evidence. No. No. Chemotherapy works. It is not a fraud. There is no... <laughs> there is no business to be done, you know, with cancer. Yes, businesses make money making, you know, cancer... Um, you know, treatments and the medicine and all that, you know, the equipment for it. But then, so does any other business. You know, so do, you know, people like the Gerson therapy, or name any other alternative therapy that sell vitamins and, you know, sugar pills. They make money off it, so why aren't you pissed off at them? I'm sorry, your evidence you have shown me is shit. It proves nothing. Vaccinations work. Chemotherapy is not this big, bad, you know, thing that you make it out to be. It's a marketing ploy done by the alternative people who want people to come onto their, their medications, which don't work. They don't have any scientific evidence to back it up. They've never done any clinical trials. They only promote people that got incredibly lucky. They never talk about the deaths that they've had. They never talk about the people who went on these treatments and died going on, you know, it works. You know, you've got to look at, you know, cannabis oil. The, you know, this, this, it's literally, uh, there's a really good article on science blogs called, uh, you know, cannabis is the new, um, well, what's it called? Cannabis is the new homeopathy. And there's currently four parts to it. And it explains very well all the points as to why a lot of these things are just not they don't work people are getting incredibly lucky because guess what cancers do sometimes just up and go away on the, by themselves why we don't know because there is still so much we do not know about cancer but i can point you to lots of things that say that the cannabinoids which is what the thing that is in cancer they're looking at work. I can point you to lots of papers which say actually when we did the test it doesn't work. You can point to another sort of uh, papers which say when we did the test the cancer went away and then came back even stronger. And yet people will put their own lives at risk to try untested unproven on you know medication it it just doesn't work and i'm sorry your evidence is shit and i know you're going to come back and say oh you didn't look at it i don't have to look at it i already know what many of these claims are making because they're the same claims that i have covered day in and day out since i started talking about these therapies They are absolutely ridiculous. And I'm sorry, they are. You know, go back and have a look at, you know, my chemotherapy is only 3% effective video, where I show that that's a complete myth spouted by these people. I'm sorry, you lose. You stole fizzy lifting drinks and you are now floating in the atmosphere. I am sorry. But the Umpa Lumpers are not available to get you down from the ceiling this time.